Howdy hello everybody and welcome to today's foodie adventure. For today I'm in the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company in Times Square in New York trying some delicious shrimp. There's pineapple shrimp, lemon shrimp, coconut shrimp. This is a funny restaurant based off the movie Forrest Gump. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. Where Forrest Gump and Bubba People call me Bubba. supposedly started their own restaurant from all the fish that they caught. Before we begin, hit that like and subscribe button and comment on this video as to whether you've been here, been to New York City, or like shrimp. Now let's get started on today's exciting adventure. I started my adventure running through Times Square as my flight from New York back home was delayed and I figured I'd run over really quickly, <coughs> grab a bite to eat at the Bubba Gum Shrimp Company, jump on my flight and get back home. As I entered the establishment, I noticed this section of gump gear, which I didn't really have time to look through. I then ran upstairs and made a reservation to sit down, and this girl was in my way. So as you look around, we're kind of in this big shack area, kind of like we're in the south. As I waited, I approached the Stop Forest Stop sign. Run, Forest! And as I looked up, I saw the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company sign. I then moseyed on through the restaurant where I was shown my table. Looking at the menu, there was a lot to pick from. A lot of shrimp items, mac and cheese, seafood combinations, they had calamari, even some chicken, different soups and salads, shrimp gumbo, shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad, uh, sandwiches and sides, usually with a seafood theme. They even had desserts and steak. Farm to table. And of course, shrimp. All kinds of shrimp, coconut shrimp, seafood shrimp. Are you stupid or something? Uh, breaded shrimp. Uh, and of course, drinks for those that like to get drunk when they go out to themed restaurants. I chose for my appetizer the shrimp shack mac and cheese, which is shrimp cheddar Monterey Jack cheese elbow pasta with a Parmesan topping for $13.99. For my entree, I chose the shrimper's heaven, which is fried shrimp, coconut shrimp, tempura shrimp fries, cocktail sauce, Cajun marmalade, tempura sauce, and that was $24.99. For my drink in the alcohol-free zone, I tried the Speckle Lemonade, which is Tropicana Lemonade with strawberries. So here is the Shrimp Shack Mac and Cheese, which consists of different kinds of cheese, a crumble, and of course... Shrimp. Get in there. I like that this is served in a nice hot skillet too. Give me a taste. Mmm. This isn't bad. I really like the crispy crumble on top. The cheese is okay, but it could be a little creamier. And of course, there's the accent of shrimp in there, which is a little juicy bite. This is pretty decent macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to give this 8 shrimp out of 10. As I waited for my next dish, I decided to trick my server by using the Run Force Run and Stop Force Stop signs. You see, when the Run Force Run is on, the server will come over and run to me. That boy sure is a wonderful. And when it's on the red stop, they will not come to me. Run Force Trail. Do you see how this works now? Next, I tried the Shrimper's Heaven, which consisted of fried shrimp, coconut shrimp, tempura shrimp, and three sauces of a tempura sauce, a cocktail sauce, and a Cajun marmalade sauce. So it's three shrimps and three sauces for 24. Shrimp gumbo, pan fried, deep fried, stir fried. 99. 
Let's give these a taste. So this is the tempura fried shrimp. It's a little bit of a lighter batter. Let's give it a taste in the cocktail sauce. Mmm, this is very good. It's a very light, crispy crust. The shrimp is tender inside. Uh, the cocktail sauce tastes like regular cocktail sauce. But I think this one would be better dipping it in one of the other sauces, the marmalade or the Cajun sauce. I think I'm going to give this 8 out of 10 shrimp. Next we have the coconut shrimp, which is a little more plump. Stupid as a stupid noise. And that is the Cajun marmalade sauce. Give it a taste. Mmm. I like this one better than the other one. It has a little more flavor. It tastes a little more plump. The other crust wasn't as flavorful as this. Plus, I like the spicy and sweet Cajun marmalade a little bit better than just the cocktail sauce. I think I'm going to give this coconut shrimp with this sauce 9 out of 10 shrimp. Lastly, I'm going to try the regular shrimp. And I'm going to try that also in the cocktail sauce. Mmm, this is pretty good. It's your standard fried shrimp. The shrimp here and the fry seem a little heavy on the heavy side, but it's still very good. The shrimp is tender inside. The cocktail sauce is decent. I think I like the Cajun marmalade the best, but this is still good. I think I'm going to give this also 8 out of 10. Shrimp. Lastly, I tried the speck of lemonade, which was $6.50. And this consisted of lemonade with strawberries inside of it. This is pretty good. It had real strawberries and a real lemon in it. This was a decent strawberry lemonade, although I have tried other ones that I think I like a little bit better. There's nothing wrong with this one. And I would probably give this seven and a half shrimp. Have you found Jesus yet? Out of ten. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him, so. So that was my review of the Bubba. Shrimp Company. Please hit that like and subscribe button so I can bring you more fun and entertaining content. Please comment on this video. It'd really help me out. Tell me whether you like this review, like shrimp went to this restaurant, or went to New York City in Times Square. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on my next fun adventure. Bye-bye. Are you stupid or something?